Asus GeForce RTX 2070 Super Dual Evo Opinion Asus GeForce RTX 2070 Super Dual Evo is not at all similar to previous models of the Dual series. Probably, the suffix Evo was added in order to emphasize this. If earlier the execution of Dual was considered budgetary, now these are solid solutions with a class slightly above average. In fact, there is everything you need. Yes, such show-offs as multi-zone RGB backlighting and additional connectors are missing, as, for example, a pair of UFI BIOS chips. But, what is is done very well. I was pleased with the excellent cooling system with polishing the base naturally in the mirror, adequate cooling of the VRM node and the possibility of a complete stop of the Carlson at low temperature. Performance and silence are appropriate. Separate praise to ASUS engineers for the implementation of fastening the casing with the ASUS RTX 2070 Super Dual Evo, Dual RTX 2070 SO8 G Evo, can be easily removed and the graphics card heatsink thoroughly cleaned, without having to disassemble the adapter completely and without losing the warranty. As for overclocking, here, like everyone else, really, the Micron memory chips went pretty well overclocking to 15.9 GHz, but the GPU overclocked just average. Ultimately, the card is a balanced solution with an emphasis on the cooling system, and nothing more to rely on with the NVIDIA Touring architecture. OC Club Dietry recommends. Plus. Short length, 267 mm. Cool appearance. Thick, thoughtful heat sink. Superb polished base. Generally quiet and productive with Cooling of all heating components The ability to completely stop the propellers Good memory overclocking GPU, like everyone else It is easy to remove the cover for cleaning without loss of warranty Minus No USB Type-C video output The backplate is not involved in cooling Missing kit